Welcome to König and Bauer at the Virtual Drupal 2021. Surely we would have all have wished to meet in person at the industry's biggest trade fair and see the latest machines in action. Well, the pandemic set new rules of the game. Nevertheless, in the next few minutes, we would like to take you on a journey into the multifaceted world of printing. Please do not hesitate to use the chat function to get in touch with us. The printing industry has long since transcended the boundaries of its original medium, which was paper. Wood, glass, metal, cardboard, corrugated board, everything can be printed. Print touches all areas of life and industries. The more colorful and diverse everyday life becomes, the more varied are the things that customers produce with machines from König and Bauer. These printed products accompany us throughout the day. Some we consciously perceive as such, for example, newspapers, magazines and books. But already in the morning, we encounter other print products that we usually do not recognize as such at first glance. Toothpaste tubes, soaps, creams, perfumes or hairsprays. They all involve printing or bear a label. When food comes in packaging, whether in bottles, cans, bags or boxes. And decors for furniture, floors or walls are also printed products that are becoming more and more sophisticated and individual. Decor is the keyword for the König and Bauer Roter Jet, which you can already see in the background. It is not only decor, also packaging, folding boxes, decorations or books. Our Rotorjet can be used for various products in industrial digital printing. But what is the secret behind this press? The modular setup of the Webfair digital printing machine Rotorjet makes this machine highly flexible. The machines are based on the same platform and are available from the smallest web width 770 70 millimeters to maximum 2250 millimeters in one or several steps. We achieve an outstanding benchmark inject print quality of up to 1200 dpi. In addition to high print quality and outstanding performance, water-based inks Food safety ink for packaging and low waste ensure a high level of sustainability and ecology. The machine prints at a maximum speed of 270 meter per minute. Pre-coating, a coating unit or a real slitter. We can respond very individually to the requirements of our customers. The future is digital, not in all areas, of course, and digital presses will not replace the established printing processes, but rather complement them. Imagine a supermarket shelf in the past. The differentiation was that the fat content was printed on it. Today, there are countless different variations of one product category, and they are compete for attention. Or in the area of laminates, everyone wants to have their own individual laminate in their living room. What I want to say is, the market is changing. Changes of value added chain, individualization of smaller lot sizes, test production before market launch or longer repeat length in the decorative sector. This means there are a lot of new business opportunities for our customers. For these reasons, our Rotojet is very interesting for a large number of markets and customer groups. And by the way, the business unit Digital on WebFed is more than only the Rotojet. We are still very successful in the area of newspaper and commercial presses. In Florida, for example, a commander has been commissioned and other presses are currently being built in our assembly plant. Other presses are already being operated very successfully by our customers, namely the Coro Cut and Coro Flex, our latest innovation for printing on corrugated board. Sheet feeder without feed rolls, no crushing of boards and protection of material when feeding into the machine. New developed vacuum sheet transport, Minimized wear operation over extremely long periods. No periodic exchange of transport medium. Real servo direct drive technology. Individual servo drives per printing unit enables highest precision in printing register due to extensive control options. Maximum precision in die cutting, especially for multi-out production. Maximum 4-up 
due to a separate die cutting length correction. For each row of outs in running direction, the length can be set individually at the main control panel. Fully automatic change of analog's role in less than two minutes. Highly automated setup processes reduce the time required for the job changes to a minimum. After a one-time fully automatic test run, saleable products are produced. Top vacuum stacker approach to zero defect production through improved disposal of waste. And these are just a few of the features that identify both the Coro Cut High Board Line Rotary Die Cutter and the Coro Flex Flexo Post Printer from König & Bauer as a technically leading solution. Industry 4.0 24-7 service support and predictive maintenance guarantee maximum availability. Innovation, stability, quality. Both machines have already been successfully commissioned at customers and are convincing not only in terms of quality but also performance. And there is even more news on flexible printing for packaging. In our customer technology center in Würzburg you can see the Evo XD. This machine can print on plastic films and papers up to 150 grams per square meters with water base inks. And customer who want to print short and mid-size print runs with a low investment should take a closer look at our Evo XC. Evo XC is a new compact flexo press featuring a unique and clever concept with reduced footprint and smart ergonomics designed to meet the market demands for producing short runs with a low investment level. Suitable for printing on plastic, paper, laminates and labels includes a heavy duty frame. Advantages to the final users due to its easy accessibility with intuitive digital touchscreen panels such as new HMI and software applications to reduce time and waste during print setup. New smart solution such as the new concept of the dryer applied on this machine enable the use of conventional solvent or water-based ink systems, assuring the highest level of versatility for a wide range of packaging applications. High efficiency Bosch Rexroad brushless motors with inverters and regenerative drives optimized system for air and energy recovery are just a few of the technical solutions. With the broadest product range, König & Bauer is one of the biggest press manufacturers in the world. And at this point, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Andreas Pleske as the new CEO of König & Bauer. The newspaper business no longer plays the role it once did, even though we are still number one in the field of highly automated newspaper presses. König & Bauer is now focusing on packaging, industrial and security printing. Dr. Pleske, how has König & Bauer mastered this transformation? With innovative solutions tailored to the requirements of our customers. We raise their productivity and enable them to become even more successful. We combine engineering excellence with end-to-end -end workflow and software solutions. With end-to-end -end process chains for packaging production that include post-pressed and digital work processes, we are further expanding our technological lead in the growth market of packaging and breaking new ground in digital packaging with the König and Bauer Durst joint venture. In general, digital solutions and products have become fixed components of our portfolio. These include modern decentralized operating concepts, autonomous process flows, database services for new customer experiences, such as the customer community as a central platform between users and König and Bauer, modern communication tools in remote maintenance, intelligent reporting of performance and KPA data, and predictive services based on artificial intelligence. Intelligently networked products and processes are the levers for profitability and efficiency. Digital platform and virtual assistance systems create a tangible increase in efficiency for our customers in all segments. 
proximity to our customers and an unconditional commitment to service are the top priorities in all areas of our company. For us, this is a decisive way to reduce the total cost of ownerships for our customers. To enable our customers to meet the demanding requirements of their customers, we continue to expand our solutions along the value chain. For example, Königin Bauer manufactures and supplies all the machinery and equipment for, for packaging production from a single source, from production planning, printing, finishing and inspection, to die cutting, folding and gluing. Dr. Pleske, thanks a lot. Printing, finishing and inspection through die cutting, folding and gluing. That's exactly what we will take a closer look at. We are now switching over to the CEC, the Customer Experience Center at König & Bauer in Radebeul. A very warm welcome here from our new CEC, our new Customer Experience Center here at König & Bauer Schiedfeld in Radebeul. Last year in June, we opened our doors for the global printing industry. And despite COVID-19, we met printers and converters from all over the world. And we were able to perform more than 250 virtual demos in the last few months. Today, we are pleased to give you exciting insights into the world of packaging production. First, we will introduce our high efficient packaging workflow. Second, we are going to present you high performing print production on our new masterpiece, Rapita 106. X. Third, we are going to present you our post-press production, our game changer, the Cut Pro X 106. And last but not least, we are really pleased to present our fastest folder glue machine, Omega R Pro 110. Who we are? I, I'm really pleased to introduce my team, Sascha Fischer, Johannes Helbisch, and Mario Gerber, our colleagues from our product management team, and we will see all of them later on the specific components we are going to present you. So, Sasha, and now let's start our demonstration today. Let's go. Well, as a start, here we have our well-proven Drivetronic feeder, and together with a tailored logistic, this is the basis for uh, high performance speeds up to 20,000 sheets an hour. Now we walk up uh, the press. This press is raised uh, by 555 and based on stills, which again, together with the logistics, offers you high efficiency and saves foundation costs. Further on, here we've got our cold foil unit. This cold foil unit comprises multi-reel, multi-foil use, and soon indexing for the most efficient use of the cold foil during packaging and label uh, production. On the inking units as such, uh, we have our pneumatic ink ducts uh, for, and easy clean for very easy cleaning as well as more or less no maintenance there. Last but not least, SRW on the inking units, simultaneous roller wash, also available for UV and washing our roll is parallel to the production with multiple circuits, so even a deep cleaning is possible automatically. But let's start with the plate changing. Now while we're changing plates, uh, simultaneously in all units, that gives me a minute to explain our coating unit with analog loader. First of all, we have a high flow chamber. Uh, this high flow chamber works with high pressure and low volume. So also with expensive coatings, you work with lowest volumes uh, to save on the consumables. Um, at the same time, we can offer a washing system for our impression cylinder in the coating unit or the coating form uh, cylinder. The analog rollers can be changed from the console with our fully automatic analog loader. But well, let's start production. For very efficient production, it's also important that this machine, this high productive machine, is fed with material sufficiently and in time. Therefore, we can offer you 
very individual and tailored logistic systems with various modules. So, we are just producing with 18,000 sheets an hour a folding box with cold foil application. This is a kind of wall record and now we will transfer our print production to the next stage to our Cut Pro X106. We are ready for the next step. Now, Johannes, it's your turn. Dirk, thank you very much for this perfect printed sheet. So let's have a closer look on our new rotary die cutter. To this machine, of course, we also applied the new design, the new machine design. So it looks like a beauty, but it, when, when it comes to your production, it really works like a beast. So our Cut Pro X106 with embossing, creasing, cutting, stripping, and the final blanking. The machine itself, the base, well-known Rapida technology, our Drivetronic feeder, the suction belt, and of course the SIS, the sensoric infeed system, with a very, very nice side alignment. And when we are talking about accuracy, we are talking about accuracy in this machine of a printing press. So 15 microns from the feeding till the end of the process. And here, our first process step, the embossing. The embossing unit with two magnetic cylinders, the female on top and the male on the bottom, so we can create a good embossing. The next unit, this is the same principle, two magnetic cylinders, and we are working with those steel plates. Those CNC manufactured steel plates with register holes in the register leashes, so it's click to cut principle. We only have to plug in the plate and we are already in registration. The next unit, the heart of the machine, so to say, is our cutting unit. Here we have again the CNC manufactured cutting plates and you can implement your own laser nicks if you want to, but you can also make nicks by your own. And this is where we can produce the cutting. And the final step is our stripping unit and here we are working with coating plates. These coating plates are cutted on our own cutting plotter and you can see male and female. And our female plate has those vacuum chambers where we push in the waste pieces, suck it to the cylinder and on side two we can extract them out of the machine. So welcome to our comment center where Christian is already producing our printed sheets. On our pile plate we have a conveyor. This conveyor works as a transfer station and between every stack we are producing we have this very fast curtain and then we can lower the conveyor and run the stack on our transfer section. When the stack comes to the transfer section, we're heading over to this turning conveyor, which brings the stack to the first side alignment conveyor. There we get a nice side alignment before we come to the registration table itself. Our registration table is equipped with side joggers, and the side joggers are making all the little intolerances out of our little stack so we get a nice clean stack all around and then we can run this stack into our blanking unit the blanking unit works with 4,000 pins on top and one and a half thousand pins on the bottom and we are pushing the waste to the bottom the lower pins are holding up the blanks and as you can see, here it is also possible to work with a tool. This tool is a new development we are using for single cut and double cut jobs. So both now is possible and available while we do the blanking. You can see here the stacking conveyor grabs all the blanks and places them here on our final pallet, so the final palletizing process. So what have we done, Dirk, so far? 
We have done the embossing in the first unit, the creasing in the second. We have done a nice cutting of our outline, the stripping in the fourth unit and the final blanking. And now, Dirk, it's your turn. Thank you very much, Johannes. We are ready for the next step. Mario, it's your turn. Dirk, thank you. Let's finish the job at our Omega Alpro 110, the perfect all-rounder within our photo cluer portfolio. Straight line, crash lock bottom, four corner, six corner, fries cones, six packs. Everything is possible with the right module we can implement in your system. Not only box styles is important, also box sizes. For instance, blank widths with less than 60 millimeters or C-flap dimension of 25 millimeters are also possible to be worked on this equipment. But talking about this wide variety of products we can fulfill, it's very important to have a very good and quick make ready. For that, our calculation system, which is based on the blank size and its dimension, automatically carrier positions are being calculated and these carriers are being driven to these final positions. Small adjustments with the operator are being necessary, but then the system runs at its highest speeds. Dirk, you're already here. Yes, thank you, Mario. Well done. Mission completed. The job is done from workflow to print, to die cutting, gluing, to the complete box. And that's why at König and Bauer, we are on it. That was very impressive. Thank you very much. And what about digital folding carton printing? How far have we got with the Varijet from König and Bauer Durst Joint Venture? This question is answered by Robert Stepler, Managing Director of the Joint Venture. As you know, print volumes in the folding carton uh, segment, despite the pandemic, remain robust. However, there has been an acceleration in the shift to shorter run print runs as forecast unpredictability increases and there is this trend towards channel mix as consumer buying behaviours have changed. The Verijet 106 platform is really designed to support folding carton converters to take advantage of this paradigm shift to use their offset presses like the Repeater 106 platform uh, for their long run works and to do it efficiently and to take advantage of all the new business models and mass customization benefits possible with digital printing with the Verijet 106 press. The press itself, the Verijet 106, really takes advantage of what we call the best of both worlds the best of the offset platform developed by Koenig & Bauer in the Repeater platform, and the best of Durst with all its digital know-how and capability and competence built up over decades in digital printing. And the result is the Verijet 106, a digital press running seven colors, 5,500 B1 sheets, uh, per hour, so giving unprecedented levels of productivity and automation in the press, levels of reliability, and giving customers very, very strong variable economics. So those customers that have large amounts of volume can really address those volumes uh, with, this, with this press. König & Bauer is your partner for the demanding requirements of your customers. Get in touch with us to learn more. We look forward to answering your questions. People all over the world come into contact with König & Bauer products every day, whether printed or converted on König & Bauer machines. This is why we say we print your world. Great, so um, welcome from our side as well. Uh, I think this has been a very impressive video showing uh, the competence and the strength of uh, König & Bauer in the packaging segment. Uh, you're now more than welcome uh, to ask and fire away with your questions to us. Uh, with me today are Stefan Seger, Vice President Sales, Königbau Digital and WebFed, uh, where you've seen, uh, for example, the Rotorjet 
and the core cut and core flex. Mike Laubin, which is our vice president of sales digital printing solutions at Koenig & Bauer, looking after the Virojet, and myself, Sasha Fischer, head of product marketing at SheetFed. Uh, now, the first question that came up here in the chat uh, is uh, what kind of varnishing plates do we use on the digital machine? Uh, Mike, would you like to answer that? Mike, I think you still have to unmute yourself. There we go. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Super, great. Uh, at the Varijet 106, uh, we are using a standard Flexo uh, unit from the Koenig & Bauer uh, toolbox. So there is uh, nothing uh, special developed. It's a water-based primer. And uh, we are putting this primer uh, on the full width uh, on, uh, on the paper. Great. Any further questions? So here's another question coming. Um, on the die cutter, uh, what kind of varnishing plates do we use there? Um, no, I don't quite get the question with regards to die cutting. If you look at the uh, Cut Pro X, uh, obviously there are no, uh, there, the varnishing plates there we use for the stripping are also conventional varning, uh, varnishing plates, uh, meaning polyester based, which are cut on a cutting table according to obviously the male and female, as you see in the video. So again, there, uh, there are no special consumables required. And um, next question there, would it be possible to see how individual embossing is moved on the die cut at the same time as not all line stations need to be moved by the same amount? Uh, well, first of all, there, there we've seen uh, one kind of embossing we have. This is with an individual cupper tools, as you know, them from flatbed die cutting. Uh, that is really depending on the demand of, of your embossing. Uh, in parallel, also the same laser cut plates as we've seen can be used on a magnetic cylinder uh, depending on the on the quality required for the embossing now how are the individual bossing elements moved uh, first of all these uh, we usually use frames uh, to enable uh, faster positioning on the magnetic cylinder and also then have uh, millimeter or micrometer uh, metal sheets to adjust them in detail but as shown in the video, it's all done on a magnetic cylinder. So it's very easy to move them around and adjust them accordingly. And once they're fixed, they're fixed. Um, so that's, that's on there and all times and all stations. That's right, not need to be moved at the same amount. As I said, we have a certain frame and within that frame, or let's say you could say a template, the individual elements can be moved accordingly and that's part of the setup obviously uh, which goes rather quickly in the combination with templates and individual um, metal uh, meter strips scroll down there for further question um, how can we see and experience the very 106 more extensive i think that's over to you mike again uh, also the next question there is availability of the very 106 I think you can outline a bit uh, in short uh, the next steps there, uh, where we are and what are the next steps. Yes, um, we started to run the first demos on the Varijet 106 at this moment of time. Uh, first customers are visiting us uh, within the month of May and June uh, on our R&D press. Um, after that, we will move the press to our CC and uh, all customers are welcome to see the press in the new CEC in the time uh, latest September uh, this year. So we're really going ahead uh, there with the Varijet uh, and, and I can only tell you I've seen the uh, first results and they're really, really impressive. And obviously they are based on the modular design on the 106 uh, and the hybrid uh, concept there. Uh, I would say everything's possible there. 
Uh, now, how about digital printing within the corrugated business? I think that's uh, over for Stefan. Uh, there, obviously, we have, apart from the core cut and core flex shown, we have also the core jet. Uh, Stefan, would you like to give it a bit of an overview there? Please unmute yourself. Stefan, Let's see if he comes on board. Stefan Seger there. If not, I mean, like what I can tell you from my uh, experience and background that we've got the core jet already uh, successfully installed. Uh, it's running in the beta period now. And uh, I think there's a second one uh, also being prepared for an additional beta. Uh, let's see if Stefan might want to add something later on once we've sorted out the technical issues there. Uh, I think availability, uh, there we go. Um, hi, Cut Pro X106 is a rotary or flatbed die cutting machine. Um, it is a rotary die cutting machine. Uh, on the flatbed die cutting side, which we unfortunately have not uh, had the chance to show you in the video, is uh, we've got our Iberica, Königenbauer Iberica. Also, there is a new product uh, just has been launched recently and will be introduced to the market. That's the CutPro Q, also a highly performance uh, B3 or 40 inch flatbed die cutting. Now, what are the advantages or disadvantages between these um, types? Mr. Fischer, yes. Uh, I need to close the webinar soon. So okay. it's come to an end. Um, yes, uh, obviously there are advantages and disadvantages between these types. Um, I think on the rotary side, uh, it really is impressed, impressive by fast setup times and fast running speeds. Uh, obviously, there are certain products there where flatbed die cutting still prevails um, with the traditional tools, with the traditional processes, with different uh, flat, uh, um, die cutting pressures and so on. So again, as we said, like digital and litho printing, uh, one doesn't replace the others. We're looking there at complementary processes. Um, now, before we close the session, uh, what we've put up here for you and hope you can see that, these are contact uh, email addresses. So if you hadn't, haven't had the chance to ask your question today and get an answer, please feel free to contact us via these email addresses. And obviously we're more than happy uh, to answer you. And secondly, you're always invited to our showrooms or contact our matchmakers to get uh, for further inquiries as well. Uh, so from my side, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Thank you very much for your interest shown. Uh, it was a great pleasure. And I hope to all see you again, healthy, in person, um, be it at a customer visit, be it at a visit of one of our plants, or be it at the next show. Thank you very much. And uh, all the best to you. Stay healthy and a lot of success. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.